Hey, Dreamyard says we're live. Does Facebook say I'm live? You always got to double check this stuff. You never know. You never know what uh, what's gonna go funny. The dog is pawing at the door too. So cool. All right. Yeah, I see myself on Facebook. Awesome. So um, yeah, I'm I'm doing um, I'm doing a little bit of like more coverage of the new uh, features that got released at uh, Funnel Hacking Live. Um, I unfortunately missed Funnel Hacking Live this year, and I watched it from home uh, using a special link. And oh my gosh, this is the first Funnel Hacking Live I've ever missed. Um, all the way back from Vegas. Uh, Vegas, San Diego, Texas, Nashville, Orlando, Nashville, Nashville, or event, like all the different back and forths between those two cities. And, um, oh, it was rough. It's really tough to, um, uh, to miss out on when like all the people that you like wake up and serve every day and like, like 5,000 entrepreneurs, it's like you care about their business and everything that you do every day, like affects their business and, and you don't get to see them. And, and so that was tough. Uh, I was at home. And, uh, we have a new, we have a new baby, uh, Liz and I, and so, um, focusing on, on making sure that he's got the, uh, the best first month of his life. So, um, that was super awesome. So, uh, yesterday we took a look at calendar appointments, which was super fun. Um, I'm, I don't want to say I'm surprised. Like, I'm just like, I guess relieved, uh, that we went through the setup process and everything just seemed to work out of the box, which was awesome. Um, we ran into like two or three issues. All of that's already been passed to the team. And actually the guy that's in charge of that has already received that feedback and he's already just like picking it up and taking off with it. So um, that is super awesome. Uh, today, we're going to take a look at Message Hub. Um, yesterday, I had mentioned that we were going through a, a cold start um, of setting up the calendar appointments and it's going to be the exact same thing today. Uh, we're going through a cold start of what does it look like? I've got a ClickFunnels account already. I've got a site. I've got funnels. I've got my domain. Like I, maybe I've even made sales on, on my ClickFunnels account, but I want, I need to set up message hub and I need to figure out kind of like what that setup experience is like. Uh, so we're doing a cold start of that today. The difference today is that my coffee is actually hot. Um, yesterday my coffee was cold and it was set, but today it's hot. So that's awesome. Very, very good. Um, Let's just jump into it. Uh, when you log into your account, odds are you land on your dashboard. I'm just on my site overview right now. Um, and then you can click into Message Hub right here. And it pops it open in a new tab. All right. So we're just going to read this top to bottom. I'm going to pretend like I don't know kind of what's going on here. Um, maybe that I'm I'm a new user or just like a green user or uh, just haven't really set this up at all. And just taking a look at what this uh, feels like to set up. Um, not, not having a ton of prior knowledge. So we're gonna connect our contacts into Message Hub. So we're adding Message Hub to FunnelPerformance.com. It says that I'm ready, and I think I wanna use team, team at Funnel Performance right here. Yeah, so let's get started with that. Creating a Message Hub account. Syncing my contacts. Cool, I guess this is a very just hands-off kind of process right here. This account doesn't have a ton of, of contacts either. It's like my personal kind of like test account. Um, so this shouldn't take long. If it does take long. I might try doing like a refresh. Um, maybe just seeing what happens. I am also curious if there are any on uh, on page errors happening here. So there are some PNG that got shot down. Yeah, just uh, 404. I don't know what slash meta is. Meta JSON. I don't know if that's like meta, like the Facebook company or, or what. I'm going to give it a little refresh. Maybe things just got stuck. Yep, that's exactly what happened. So. A little bit of a hiccup there. I'm not sure why the bar didn't just fly all the way to the other side, but um, yeah. All right. So now that it's created my message of account, it's sunk, sank, synced my contacts. Uh, we're going to open up message hub dashboard. Okay. All right. So, oh, cool. Okay. So out of the box, this kind of feels like, uh, I don't know if anyone's ever used intercom before, but usually there's like some like app level nav and then some like conversation based stuff. And then your like actual chats, um, makes me think of, uh, intercom. 
It feels that way. I can see anywhere that I've been mentioned personally. So that must mean that we get like different users instead of here. Maybe I can bring in different uh, like team members. Yeah, we've got agents and teams and Okay, so this is kind of what I saw at the State of the Union, where we can start to treat this kind of like uh, I like you can do um, inbound marketing, right? So um, one to one kind of conversations on a sales basis, uh, you can use it for that. But there's also the capability to do kind of like troubleshooting or, or uh, website support um, and kind of do it that way, too. So you can have agents and teams, different inboxes for different purposes which is awesome. Oh, sorry, you guys might not be able to see this very well. Let me change my orientation here. Yeah, there we go. Sorry about that, um, but we'll just keep on keeping on. Um, now you can see this all a little better, or it's not so tiny. <clears throat> um, yeah, so these are all the different like kind of settings and capabilities inside of here. Really trying to think through this from a, what are what are our you know users really gonna wanna see or do with this tool? I imagine that, there's gonna be a lot of like, people will message in and have questions and then you have the capability to take those questions and turn it around into uh, into sales. And I think that that's gonna be a huge component here, which means later on down the line, we'd really like to see um, maybe metrics that like, because someone had a conversation inside of Message Hub, then it attributed to a sale. I don't know that that's gonna be set up quite yet, but maybe that's a direction that we could go. So we know that, um, a sale was made because someone had a conversation inside of Message Hub. That would be super awesome. That's something that they have for their workflow automation. So inside of a well, old school guys like me, we call it follow up funnels, but their um, their workflows inside of ClickFunnels too. Um, and but like broadcast and workflows, if somebody opens those emails or opens those communications and then goes and buys a product, it lets us know that like, hey they just looked at this email, clicked the link and then bought the product. So we can attribute that sale to the email. That way you know how much your, your emails are actually making you, which is awesome. This is my first message from Todd, Todd at example.com. Um, it's, hey, welcome to your new message hub email inbox. So um, they must have sent a direct email to this inbox right here. So incoming chat. Okay. So I, I kind of did a little bit of like digging beforehand um, and I've passed some feedback to the team like, hey, this isn't a hundred percent obvious as to like what I need to do or how I need to like actually configure this. Uh, so some additional context, I think like we're just gonna pass in like a help article that's gonna have like the, the setup video, kind of like what we're doing here, but like do this, click here, you know, do this, do that. Um, so yeah, we're gonna get our email inbox up and running. There's a couple of different inboxes that you can actually create, like different chats. And I just wanna show you all this really quick. So there's, sorry, channels, that's what they're calling them. There's different channels, right? So you can take this and plug it in on your website and have like a little uh, chat widget on your website, plug in Facebook Messenger, SMS, I think SMS is a Twilio. And if any other like communication tools have an open API, you can plug that in here as well. Um, the main one that we're just going to focus on today is this email inbox, right? So I'm just going to hit back. And then, so there's this chat inboxes email right here. And I think ClickFunnels gives you two out of the box right here, email and site that you can set up immediately because you have custom domains plugged into ClickFunnels and we can route that mail um, properly. So I'm going to grab this. So when I talked to some folks yesterday, um, to get up and running, please configure your email provider to automatically forward all messages you receive at team at funnelperformance.com to the intake address for this inbox. So the, the big thing to know here is that there's a few different ways to set this up. Like for example, if you have um, business email through like Google domains, um, you can set up the forwarding inside of the inbox settings there. What I learned is that uh, you can also do email forwarding through just the um, the registrar, right? So let me, I, I might have to like log in here really quick. So I'm just gonna pull down my screen and you guys just get a close up of my face. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna go to Google domains, which is turning into Squarespace. So I hope I can still, yeah, it looks like I can still like edit stuff on here. So there's that. And then I'm just looking for, 
email. Okay, so I'm in a good spot now to to share the screen again. Didn't have to do a ton of logging in. So there's um, this email right here, and then there's email forwarding. So I'm gonna okay info forwards. I need to add another alias. So this is team at funnel performance, and this is gonna route to um, the destination address that ClickFunnels gave me. So I just copied this address right here. The clickfunnels.chat address and dropped it into the recipient mail and we're going to add it so this is how to do this at the at the registrar level um so we need they sent a verification email which means it should hopefully show up here cross my fingers there we go sweet okay that popped up immediately um verif verify my email Man, I'm really crossing my fingers that this, this just works out of the box. Uh, email has been verified. Sweet. Okay. Awesome. So now we've got the, the team address forwarding to my message hub, which means I think I can just like, let's try this real quick. Just We'll just go team at funnelperformance.com. Um, hey, Jimmy. Are you live? Yes, I'm live. Yep, I just just something in there. Okay. Um, and so this showed up in unassigned. Um, this is good now. We've clicked through; it's all resolved. So I'm just gonna close that out. Do a little refresh. Let's just wait a second. Um, I think because this is set up and it's all routed properly, I'm gonna go ahead and resolve the default message from the app as well. Look at that. That's, I mean, honestly, that took no time at all. It was, that was very simple to set up. Hey, Jameer, are you live? Yes, thanks for tuning in. Subscribe. I don't know, just something dumb, right? <laughs> um, cool. All right, so we're going to send that. There's obviously, there's the, the rabbit hole on some of this stuff goes really, really deep. Um, you can go through and... There's a bunch of different actions assigned to um, different team members, assign a priority if this is a hot hot lead or something like that, or someone's ready to throw cash at you. Um, obviously give it like a high priority uh, or like hair on fire. Someone can't uh, collect money or they can't collect leads. If you're an agency or something like that, give it high priority. Different um, macros, right? So if you hit like a certain like keystroke, it'll populate a macro uh, reply. So something like if they have, if there's FAQs, like what time is the event at? And you can just hit like, you know, command T for time or whatever. Um, and it just like pops in your macro um, reply of all the details they need for, for whatever response or reason why. So that's huge. Um, conversation info. Um, attributes. I mean, this can honestly, this can go pretty deep. It's, it's, very much on a case by case basis. Like uh, if you need to know like what their company name is, if you need to know uh, their income, right? Uh, maybe they filled out a survey beforehand. You wanna fill out all the contact attributes. Um, all of that can get passed over as well. Um, yeah, so this is awesome, honestly. So I'm just gonna leave it at the, uh, at the email today. Um, in order to set up something like, actually we could, Probably set up the site one too. That probably won't be hard to do. Let me just check over here that it came back. Awesome. Jimmy Allen from email. So bellman at clickfunnels.com. Uh, this is interesting. So bellman at clickfunnels. I, this really needs to be branded for the business. Um, I'm gonna pass this feedback along to the team. But that really needs to be branded for business for the business. And then so Jimmy Allen, so they shouldn't know that it's Jimmy Allen. They should know that it's team at funnel performance. So this needs to get changed as well. And you know what? Maybe it's a setting that I just haven't done. Like if there's like email, email inbox settings that I need to change up or something to that tune. Can I go here? Email open filter. Yeah, I'm not sure. Let 
no notifications, push notifications. Yeah. So, so that's something that needs to get figured out. Um, maybe just like a, a quick little configure the first time that you open it, like, Hey, when you respond, who do you want it to respond from? But that's also something that we set kind of in the beginning, right? Because we, we grabbed team at funnel performance. So when I emailed back, I would expect this to say team at funnel performance. Um, the center of this email is verified that they own myclickfunnels.com and the logo in the profile image. See, that's just that's just false. Um, this isn't like I don't own that. Um, so yeah, that's got to get fixed. All right. Well, good. We found we found something to pass back to the team, so that's awesome. Um, let's try to configure the site one really quick, and I think that. No, I'm gonna leave it for another video, just cause um, I'm I'm gonna leave this one. So part one was email. Set up the email inbox. We can talk back and forth, and it works pretty quickly too. I mean that that took no time at all. So this was awesome. Thanks so much for tuning in, guys. Uh, that's gonna be it for me on this video. I'm probably gonna do a part two and a part three where we set up the site chat widget, and then we're also gonna set up um, Twilio for SMS on, on a message hub. So we will see you, see you on the next episodes. See ya. Bye.